at 3.30, we got our second of the three games that are playoff-eligible football teams. We got number eight, Oregon, who's 7-1, and one, traveling to Colorado, who's 1-7. Oregon's favored by 31.5 points on ESPN. Bo Nix has just completely turned his season around since that dreadful start we saw from him at the beginning of the year. He's gone 180 at 249, thrown for 2,221 yards, 20 touchdowns, 5 interceptions, and this is just a completely different player than the one that we saw not that long ago playing against Georgia. Bucky Irving is at 89 carries for 568 yards and 2 touchdowns. Troy Franklin is at 38 catches for 595 yards and 5 touchdowns. JT Shrout for Colorado has gone 56 of 130, thrown for 729 yards, 5 touchdowns, 4 interceptions. Deion Smith has had 70 carries for 354 yards and 2 touchdowns. And Jordan Tyson on the ground has had 17 catches for 333 yards and 3 touchdowns. Oregon leads the series all-time 14-9 against Colorado. Last two games have gone to Oregon. 1985 was the last time Colorado won at home. Oregon has won eight of the last nine matchups. So again, Colorado has not been doing well as of recently. They at one point led this series eight to um, six. Colorado led the series eight to six at one point. Now it's 14 to nine. Oregon has just dominated them recently. Again, last time they won at home was in 1985. It's been a hot second since the Colorado Buffaloes has actually been good. This is not their year, by the way. Um, they came off a win against Cal last week, and they lost. They lost not really all that close either. That's well, badly. Oregon's coming off a dominant win against Cal, um, a game that was close at halftime, and then they just ran away with it in the second half. Oregon's a good football team here, guys. They are. This is a football team that really has some college football playoff hopes. Right? I mean, they got to root for some things to happen. Again, right now, if things were to shake out the way they are, an undefeated Georgia, an undefeated Tennessee, an undefeated Clemson, an undefeated Ohio State or Michigan, an undefeated TCU is not what you would want to be going up against if you're Oregon because all four of those teams are going to make it in instead of you. Right? Oregon right now's best chance is one of them's got to lose one. Right? I mean, obviously, Georgia or Tennessee is going to lose one of these, but like, and so is Ohio State Michigan. But Man, if Clemson could be upset by Notre Dame this week, that'd be huge. If TCU could be upset by Texas Tech, that, those are the two games you're probably following the most if you're an Oregon fan. Again, it's teams that are ahead of you, and you got to root for them to lose. And right now, Oregon's playing some really good football. I expect for them to roll in a boulder, and I expect them to win and cover on the road.